What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Rays. A woman in a black costume. 20 episodes and kick ass action. Does that remind you of something? Well, it reminds us of the first season of Batwoman that got a 70% rating from Rotten Tomatoes. Since the first episode of the show aired in October of 2019, it got around 1.8 million. So now that the last episode has appeared more than a month ago, does the CW Network consider another season? Let's find out in Batwoman Season 2 First Look. Let's jump right in, shall we? First things first, the recap. We can't talk about the second season without going over some of the details of the first season, can we? So what happened so far? Well, in the beginning, there was the whole finding who Beth's sister is, Chase. Are you my sister? Uh, who in the world am I? That? That's when the whole fiasco and fight about the knife happened. Also, Alice finally told her she was actually her twin sister, who almost died in the car crash. But then again, Batman did save her from drowning. Next on the list, we have the romance between Batwoman and Sophie Moore, and we know that didn't turn out too well due to Kate not wanting to risk her lover's life. And the most interesting part of all came with Colonel Jacob and Tim the Titan Teslo. When Batwoman saw she couldn't take down Titan all on her own, he used Jacob's daughter to get close to him and sing. We shake on a truce between them. Even though Jacob wants to bring her and everyone affiliated with her to justice, he does want to catch the destructive Titan as well. The crows are all over Gotham Stadium, and Jacob and his men are waiting patiently to catch him. When he finally shows up, he begins taking down their men, one by one. Batwoman immediately jumps in the fight, and she tries to save the crows. Luckily, Titan immediately jumps on her and attacks her head on. While she is kneeling below, she tries to reason with the monster that Tim has become, and just as it seems she has finally got through to him, a shot is fired, and then another, and another, the Titan is finally killed. Jacob and his team have surrounded Batwoman, and they open fire. Luckily, her suit and cape are bulletproof. Therefore, the covers her face with the cape, and before they could land any damaging shots, she escapes from Gotham Stadium. Near the end, we see Alice has managed to make Elliot's face resemble that of Bruce Wayne. And then she convinces him to smash that like button if you haven't done that already. But actually, she told him to go and steal the kryptonite from Bruce Wayne's headquarters. So now, there's only one question left. Will there be a second season? The pandemic hit, and it hit hard. Every show, every production house, every actor had to call it quits on their jobs. All of them quarantined and eagerly waiting for the release date of the new season, including fans. What time are we to expect the new season to hit the big screen? Well, it's not clear as to what is going to happen. The CW network usually starts filming the Arrowverse shows, which Batwoman is part of, in the end of June or the beginning of July. But seeing how the pandemic is still going strong, we are likely to see the shows taped in Vancouver, Canada, resume their schedules in the fall. And since Comic-Con is not happening this year, they will have no platform where they could drop their first footage of the following seasons. So, instead of the shows airing in 2020, production has been postponed for 2021. For this, they have various release dates happening and most of them are centered around the beginning of the year, while other shows are going to be making their first appearance in the middle of the year. Luckily for us, Batwoman is going to be part of the early bird group, meaning that we will get to see the second season in the beginning of the year, usually January 2021. Of course, this is still debatable, because if they can't continue filming the show in the fall, it's going to be postponed even more. Fingers crossed this pandemic doesn't last until fall. Who's returning for season two? Well, we can say with certainty that Ruby Rose is safe in this next season. Wait, what's that? Ruby Rose is not going to be appearing in the second season in the role of Batwoman? Why? Well, it seems like the team and Rose weren't happy on the show, and they mutually decided to cut ties. I have made the very difficult decision to not return to Batwoman next season. This was not a decision I made lightly, as I have the utmost respect for the cast, crew, and everyone involved with the show in both Vancouver and in Los Angeles," said Rose in an interview. She then posted a video on Instagram where she thanked the team behind Batwoman and explained that this was a decision that took a lot of consideration, and even though she is saddened by her departure, she will not be changing her mind. So what? What's going to happen with her character? Are we going to be seeing another actress playing the role of Batwoman? Easy there, bucko. Breathe. 
The show initially thought about opening another audition for the role of Batwoman, but then they decided to go in a different direction. Instead of casting a new actress to play the exact same role, they're going to cast another actress to play a completely different role. We don't know the details about this character, but the team has said that her name will be Ryan Wilder. She's likable, messy, a little goofy, and untamed. She's also nothing like Kate Kane, the woman who wore the bat suit before her. Read the role description for this character. So what's going to happen with Kate? Well, even though the rumors began circulating online about the showrunners planning to kill her off, Caroline Dries, a writer on the show, she wanted to clarify all of the misunderstandings. In a Twitter post, she said that they are not going to kill her off. She's just going to have a mysterious disappearance. Not wanting to discuss any further and this reveal any juicy secrets, Caroline stopped right there. Other than that, stars like Rachel Scarston, Cameris Johnson, Megan Tandy, Nicole Kang, and Dougree Scott will be returning for season two of Batwoman. What happened in season two? We know that the intended 22 episodes from the first season were cut to only 20 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So maybe in the following season, we will get to see the show pick up where they left off. Maybe they will add those two episodes in the next season. And as we all know, Alice changed Elliot's face. I made all your dreams come true. And now he looks exactly like Bruce Wayne. We will probably get to see him on the lookout for the kryptonite that Alice told him to retrieve. So we're expecting the show to pick up from there. Another interesting storyline that's going to be developing is the love triangle between Luke, Mary, and another person. For the moment, he remains unknown, but according to Caroline, we should be expecting more romance in the following season. And we know that Kate is going to disappear in the following season, judging from what Caroline said previously in the Twitter post. That means that this next season will revolve around the mysterious case that Kate has opened. Not to mention, Batman has vanished from Gotham many years ago, so it's not the end of the world, it's just going to be different, that's all. If you weren't hyped enough, word on the street is that we're to expect another villain to take Alice's place in the second season. We know that Julia Pennyworth is haunted by Safia Sohail. She's the character that's been mentioned throughout the season several times before. If we're judging from the comic books, then Safia will be the leader of the Pirate Island nation, Coriana. And we also know that the Wonderland gang that Alice was part of has been destroyed by Safia. She first appeared in the DC Universe in Batwoman Rebirth No. 1 in 2017, and there she played one of the girls Kate fell in love with. But she then became one of the biggest antagonists for Batwoman. But for now, there's no certainty on how Kate's departure from the show will affect all of these storylines. All of the other heroes that are supposed to appear in the show may be postponed due to this problem. From what we know so far, Caroline Dry's favorite part of the whole season was seeing Alice's character develop. She goes from this naive and innocent little girl who is the victim and turns into a woman that really knows how to take care of her. And the showrunner even stated that she would love to see how Alice evolved into the merciless killer she is. And this is where Safia will play a huge part in. And on that note, we end this video. But hey, what do you think about season one so far? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.